the 49ers brought in Laquan Treadwell for a private workout. This is a wide receiver who is almost 28 years old. He was a first round pick of Minnesota in 2016. Um, was a huge bust. And then he went to Atlanta for a year, Jacksonville for a year, Seattle last year, six catches. I remember famously ran like four, six, still got drafted in the first round. Was a big deal player at Ole Miss. Didn't yeah. translate. But he's never played for Kyle Shanahan. And Kyle, I mean, Jawan Jennings was a four, <coughs> seven and has a role in this offense. What do you think of the Niners actually taking a day out of their schedule, busy schedule to meet with Laquan Treadwell? Well, I'm gonna steal something from you. I I because at <laughs> first when I when I first heard this, I thought he was camp fodder. Like we're just, you know, we're just getting a guy. Yeah. But yeah. given that they went out, worked them out, that there is value there. And one thing that I will say is that camp fodder really doesn't matter as much anymore, or it's not so much as a thing as it used to be, due to the fact of how much we rotate in, in guys in and out of our practice squad throughout the season. So more often times than not, a guy who makes the practice squad or is around, we're going to see him in, for about two to three games just by going off of the averages, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Juwan Jennings doesn't have any competition on our team as far as the, being a physical slot guy. Um, we talked about this with the exit meetings months ago. He drops passes. He knows how to route. Yeah, he does drop passes. Oh, he my God, does he drop passes. For a guy with great hands, he drops too many passes. It's like constantly. And he thing. drops passes in camp. Like, oh, constantly. Constantly. Yes. Like he, he drops so many passes in camp. I'm like, man, does, does this, should this guy make the team? And then right. he's a gamer. It's like, of course, yeah. But, like, dude, like, someone might need to push him a little bit. Yeah. And I, and, yeah. And from your list of God's ears, Grant, I think that's why Trey yeah. is here to push Juwan to yeah. actually put some competition in some revital and to revitalize that spot. Um, also, uh, you brought this up um, to me earlier is that Juwan is going to be leaving um, in a couple of years. He's due. Yeah. Um, he's going to be a free agent in 2024. Yeah. He's this is due, last year, basically, on the team. Yeah. And the thing about it is uh, we create the job description here and then the guys go out and they go find a better salary. That's basically what happens. Like yeah. we, they come here, they get the experience. They Kendrick get, Bourne. Yeah. They get the workflow and they run in a system that is starting to spread throughout the league. So that means that mm -hmm. not only are, is their job description mm -hmm. strengthening, but it's becoming more popular. It's becoming more mm -hmm. desired, right? Which mm -hmm. means that apropos teams that are not, that are, you know, we're, we're one game out of the Super Bowl. So virtually 90%, 95% of the team, of the teams in the NFL are trying to get better, right? Yeah. So yeah. they're going to find areas where a DJ Jones is going to find um, the deal that he got. You know, got, Kendrick Bourne is going to go find the deal that he got. So Jawan Jennings, is in line of a long line of guys that are going to go out there and he's going to flex his resume around. So I think Laquan yeah. Treadwell will be a good stopgap along the way. And another thing, I think they would, I think they're going to bring in some more guys for that spot, not just Laquan. Um, yeah. I also feel like it kind of, I'm curious to see what the Niners do yeah. at tight end. Like people are thinking they're going to draft a tight end this year. They really haven't invested in the tight end position at all. I think they may look at it like, look, George Kittle's a unicorn. How many guys in the league are elite at blocking and receiving at tight end? I see like what you're about one, to do. One. Okay. So I feel like what they're doing is, like, Jawan Jennings is essentially a tight end for them in the passing game. Like, the routes he runs, the role he has, he basically is Jordan Reed. Now, they don't really, I mean, he he, he blocks too, not like really like a tight end. But still, I mean, he's a he's a glorified tight end in this team. And I he's wonder if the tight end, too. yeah, I wonder if, if they're looking at tight end is kind of like a platoon position. Like you get guys like Jennings and Treadwell, and then you get blockers like someone better than Tyler Croft. But like, I think maybe the, the tight end they're looking for isn't necessarily someone who does it all, but someone who's just a better blocker than Tyler Croft. Maybe. Mm. Well, I'll, I'll throw this one back at you. If you want to, mm -hmm. if you want to convert him to tight end, what would Laquan Treadwell be juxtaposed to what Muhammad Sanu's role was when he was here? Right. And they're, they're, they're also trying to convert uh, Jordan Matthews to tight end, although I believe he tore his ACL last year. But they, they've been working on, yeah, they've been working on that they've for years with him on the practice squad. Yeah. So yeah. I think they're interested in that. Like the big, the big slot guy who's basically a tight end. 
So yeah, it was and another you good get example. A two for one because if it doesn't work out, you still get pr- the productivity at the slot. Yep, absolutely. Right, absolutely. Yeah. So I like the they movie. haven't signed him yet. I, he, they probably offered him like, hey, bud, uh, here's nothing guaranteed. But here's if you want to play for Kyle, yeah, here's a lunchable. But if you want to play for Kyle Shanahan and like get your career, you know, off yeah, life yeah, if support, you get back in the ether, you know, yeah, you know, get your name yeah. buzzing. Exactly. Give it a shot. Exactly. So he'll have to think about it. 808 Niner says if they trade Trey and BP can't come back, then they are all getting fired. It's just dumb to trade him before you see BP actually throw a ball. That's, That's why so I don't true. think they're going to trade him. I think it's That's just so true. It's scary. It's risky. It's scary. And the payoff is a third round pick. Like, not for a pick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just came in the chat and now you uh you got Niner likes. Thanks, Niner Lifer. I don't really get it. Jennings will be Houston wide receiver two or Miami wide receiver three in 2024. Official BNA Music 88. True. And yeah, Kyle for knows. what we talked about, they're going to find better roles on lesser teams. Reports out Niners scouted tight end more than any team, says Monsatore. Interesting. I mean, maybe they feel like they can't count on George Kittle being on this team more than one more year. Like maybe they feel. Once George hits 30, it could be a year-to-year proposition with him. I mean, I, who knows? A lot of players retire at 30. Barry Sanders Well, did. He's got a WWE we, profession waiting for him. Like, he's going to get a lot of money from the WWE. Yeah, no joke. I, and I'm glad no you joke. brought that up. The, yeah. The, football is not one of these, like, iconic everyman sports. Like, it's not – you're not a tennis player where you, you get to transcend your sport and you have all of these brand deals. Like, that's not football. You no. know, once it's players, the it's the shield, it's the brand, it's the helmet. Like you're replaceable, man. You're 85. Yeah, and Vernon and, Davis was 85. Now you're 85. There'll be another 85. Come on, and once you yeah. start transcending that, and I'm happy for George. This is not and he like wants a, to. He yeah. wants to. He wants the spotlight. He wants right? to be a personality. Yeah, and I feel like the Niners are gonna get to a point where they'll say, "Well, George, go be a superstar." Yeah, go do your thing, man. Go yeah, be go a star, George. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, because we're gonna get a football player. Yeah, we'll socially Sorry. engineer this. We'll get two or three guys yeah. to 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 be here in your stead. And, you know, honestly, what's really hurting George um, is that we don't have that second guy that can kind of do what he does. Um, he is still a special player, but... Um, he has to play like is, every snap, man. <laughs> it's getting to the point where it's like, is the juice worth the squeeze? I, I, it's getting to that point now. And I feel like, because I feel like the Niners team culture is very, like, it's supposed to be, you know not divas, not celebrities, guys who just like the game, you know, guys who like the grind. And Kittle isn't that anymore. We're not that. He used to be. He's not that at all anymore. 